So we're um, finishing up the front. We're putting the plugs in. And I'm using the homemade ones. The ones I made right here with the plug cutter. And we did have some videos on that. And the reason is, I thought, you know, I thought about grabbing the ones I purchased. But the difference is the grain. The purchased ones are angled. They're, I don't know if you can see that. And the grain is going like this. So if I stuck this in here and pound it in, two things, are, two things could happen. One, I don't have a deep enough hole, which means some of this plug is going to stick out. And then if I try to sand it off, I'd be sanding end grain, which doesn't work very good because the sandpaper is going to sand everything around it much quicker than it's going to sand that end grain. Plus, these are tapered. So when you're this close to the edge of the board, it's going to try to it's going to split the wood. It's going to put a slight split right there. So that's another reason I would not go with the purchased ones, even if my hole was deep enough. Whereas these are not tapered. I can tap it down if it's too high. I like this one right here. I can just do this which we did have some videos on this, so this isn't new, but it's just, it's so handy because if your hole's not deep enough, it doesn't really matter. And then I can grab my sandpaper and just kind of finish it off a little bit. This one feels a little high yet. done with that so the other thing I wanted to say this is the front of it so last time I last video we didn't have the front done so what I first did was I measured a board that would be this distance in back or no I'm sorry this distance and I put it right here and then put a clamp on it that way, that would give me the distance so the front is equal to the back. Then I made this facer board right here. Did one on the bottom. Then I made these two boards. And then I came back and did an inside one here. And the reason is because that way, when I put the door on here, I'll be able to put my fingers in there to pull the door out. So we have a little space there. Otherwise, I could put a door handle on, which I still could. But um, if this works fine, we'll do that. So my next thing is I need to make a door. I want just one single door. I could do a double door. But I think in this case, I'd rather have a single one. And I need to get some hinges because the hinges I have really are made. The door would then set out here, which wouldn't be bad. So I could use these hinges, but I think I have some other hinges. So I'm going to look around and see what other hinges I have before I make that decision. But either way, I can go ahead and start making the door. And we can clean the dust out of here, whatever dust is in here. And we can oil this part because I already put the holes in here. So we can fasten the top on from down here. So this could all be oiled today. So that's our next task is to start oiling this. And you can take a look at it now. Once we put the oil on, it's going to start. It's going to bring out the wood colors. In fact, I can do a little bit right now. can see what that's going to do. I just, this is one of my favorite parts of a wood project is to really start bringing out. Now the sad thing is this is the back. So as beautiful as it looks, we're really not going to see it. But 
makes me feel better knowing that the whole piece is beautiful and if we were to put in a different location at some point it's gonna look great and it still looks great either way because you're still gonna see the inside okay so I think we've got to clear off our bench so we have room to put this up and oil it at we don't have to bend over as much Okay, here we go.